if you could read it. In this 107-page booklet, President Museveni unveils his plan for the next five years. Among his priorities are jobs and wealth creation. The jobs for the youth are linked with the foundation. How do you create jobs without a foundation? The foundation is what I've already talked about. Electricity, peace, and stability. Unemployment is another crucial part of Museveni's campaign this time round. Currently, unemployment among the youth stands at 62%. For the few who have a job like Juma Musazi, they want government to come up with a holistic approach to address the problem of unemployment among youth. As he says in his manifesto, he should emphasize the issue of jobs. Many youth do not have jobs. The jobs are few. Ugandans expect to hear more about better service delivery from the candidates' manifestos. But many worry that the leaders may not honor their promises after getting into office. And like himself, Ugandans hope that delivering on campaign promises will be a priority for whoever wins next year's election. According to the State of Uganda Population Report 2013, Uganda has the world's youngest population below the age of 30. The country's young population is now the major target ahead of the 2016 election. Those are the people who have the votes and will ultimately decide the direction that the country takes. You have um, up to 78% of this country's population as people below 35 years or 35 years and below. A significant portion of that, as I said earlier, is going to be first-time voters. Some of them are second-time voters. You need to bring them on board. While President Museveni's manifesto hopes to address the issues of corruption, civil society activists say there is need for a newer approach to tackle the vice. The electorate too comes under spotlight whether they vote basing on the issues raised in the manifestos. Because for them, as ordinary people, they don't vote based on manifestos because they never go back and audit that how has this particular candidate, uh, or how has the president, or how has this current regime performed based on its manifesto. But I, I mean, I, I don't really see anything new in this current uh, manifesto. Civil society activists are now running a campaign urging the electorate to vote based on issues that affect them so that in future they can hold their leaders accountable. On his part, President Museveni says he has scored high in the area of infrastructure development, stability and education. And for the next three months campaign, this will be his key message to the voters. Hilara Yesiga, CCTV, Kampala.